Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 2017 Mod Showcase with me, Kevin Sawyer. And today I this is a bit of a revisited mod showcase. I've done this once before for uh, Farming Simulator 2015. Um, and... Uh, I'll try and remember to put a uh, a link in the top right right hand corner for that mod showcase. Um, but anyway, um, it's revisited from this because it's been ported over and it's been sort of like changed and improved. Um, this is version one of this uh, mod showcase, and it's a and it's a Smith's trailer, and it's by the modder of the name Da Hoffi. I hope that's pronounced right. And uh, and uh, Basically, uh, I'll go into the costs and everything with you guys, and once you've downloaded it, um, of course, guys, uh, the uh, link for the to download this mod will be in descriptions down below. So please feel free to download and play with it as you wish. Um, but once you've downloaded and installed it into your mods and made sure it's activated, you will find it in tippers. Um, go scroll right over, and there you go. And you'll see it's Smith's Campbell, and uh, Depending on your aspect and what sort of like settings you want to uh, do is depending on how much you're going to pay. But the basic start price is uh, thirty-eight thousand or thirty-eight thousand nine hundred um, pounds, or whatever currency you're working in. Um, the daily maintenance again is a standard basic is eighty pounds or whatever currency you're working in per day, and it's got the percentage of um, is there um, and you can see it takes pretty much a lot of the uh, generic um, crop types and, and it may possibly take um, other mod um, types as well I uh, see it takes the grapes which is good to see um, but to purchase you've got several different options um, you can change the color you can change the rim color and you can change the design color. I'm just grabbing ones at random here, um, and that just obviously the prices are changed. Um, this is where the other options come in stand uh, set up. So you can change the wheel setup. So you can have that sort of setup, that sort of setup. So that you've got the two sort of sets up there. I guess that changes the wheel characteristics, um, and then you can change the flooring. Now. Again, uh, a few guys that do remember the last mod showcase, you need you, you had to use hard point extension for this to work. Um, in 2017, you don't need to worry about that. Obviously, the uh, modder has made it so it works with the giant software, which is great. Um, so you don't need any additional mods for this to work. It just works straight out of the box, so to speak. Um, but you can now also select. Um, wooden floor, safety floor, or pipe uh, pin plate pin plate pin plate pin plates floor. Um, and then you can select your trailer type here. So this is the standard one. And then there's another type. And then there's another type. And then it's a step back to the other one. Okay, um the I'll show you in a minute in the uh, how do, well what the difference is between the trailers but this is just a basic one um, as you can see it's a curtain cider and uh, the details are very good uh, as you can see the, uh, looking at close into the wheels they almost look realistic um, the textures for the trailer are, are fair and quite good and um, well detailed if we go around to, as you can see, all the lights work. You get the rotating beaker on the back and this little nice uh, long vehicle sign on the bottom. Alongside that, um, if we go up to that, you can change the chemical symbol. symbol. You can bring it on or off. Um, on the old version, you used to be able to go to the side here and open up this, um, this, the curtains from the ends or from the middle here. Um, but this is where it changes now. He's changed it in a certain aspect, so you don't really need to necessarily do that. Um, again, he may change it in the future, but as things stand, if you jump into the, your um, truck, 
whatever truck you've got attached to it. it doesn't have to be an American truck like I've got here it can be any of the other types um, if you press X it should open your back doors and then basically you've got other options you can over open the cover which are bring the side skirts back and then you'll see the planks move away so you've got two options you this is if it, if you want to manually load it there's no there's no problem here you just um obviously open your skirtings up and then start loading in with your forklift and it will count for that um i won't demonstrate now because it make the um, mod showcase too long but once you've uh, put in your goods that you want to do it you can you can do it two ways you can either fasten your tensioning belts like that so they pop on and you can see they you can see that they do pop into place or you can go in the truck itself and you should see L for fast tension belt so you can do it that way as well um, but obviously once you've got your goods all ready to go you can close the back door um, as for ramps I haven't seen a way of putting any ramps down as yet um, the modder can come in and tell me if this is right or wrong I don't think there is any ramps on this um, I haven't seen any but I haven't played with it enough to really experiment what you can and can't do with this so I've only just briefly touched on it um, I know it's auto loading and I'll go into that in a sec so if we just uh, oh, wrong button close all this back up again far up the old truck but the auto the auto loading aspect is quite good um, so if you put it into work position so V no. Try that again, Kev. V. Um, you can turn it, turn it off work position on and off from there. Um, how you load your um, goods is dependent on how you um, set it. So, as you can see, if you press Z, it goes through all the options. So, you can have your HD bales, pallets, square bales, round bales etc. So I'm going to just un un uncover it again so you guys can see it all popping in. You don't need to have the cover on. Um, this is the only thing I will say about this mod and hopefully the modder will come in and prove this. This is the only downside I've got with this particular mod at the moment. It's the distance it needs to be from the goods. You have to be quite literally nichely right on top of it for it to load them up. But it will take pallets. Let's make sure I've got it in work position. V. There you go. As long as you're fairly close to the pallets, it should pick them up. And it doesn't matter which side you pick it up from. It should auto detect you've got pallets. There you go, as you can see. But you, that's the only downside I say you'd have to be right on top of it before it recognises it. Um, once you've got your goods, obviously take them to wherever you want. Again, sorry it's a bit laggy because ever since the update, it's been a bit laggy on this map. Um, this is my valley map it might need to be updated perhaps so it might be me or it could be just what giants have done with the update um, but anyway when you want to unload um, you then put it into work position again or no you um, uh, let's have a look open cover put it 
into work position. Um, there you go. Uh, I don't think you have to have the curtains open. Let's just test that. No, you don't have to have the curtains open. It's, um, you can change where you want to unload it. So if I scroll back um, and then press B, it shows you a little grid on where you want to unload it. So you can unload it to the left, to the right, or to the center, which is behind at the back. Once you've done that, you press Y to unload. And there you go. You've unloaded your goods. And then you want to pick up something else, you can. So then you put it back into work position and then select whatever. There, sorry, take it out of work position. Select what you want. So again, Z to select square bales and then put it into work position again sorry about the lag guys drive up to your bales again it's a you have to be right on top of them before it picks them up once you picked it up again we'll just quickly uncover it so you guys can see it I'm going to jump out and see, this is where I'm going to test because I haven't tested this yet, if you can put straps down manually from here. So put the strap down. doesn't show the strap in place, um, but I can assure you, and I'll show you now, it doesn't matter if you've got the straps on or not. I think it's, I believe it's got an auto-locking script, so you can go nuts and drive around in circles. The bales will not come out. However, if you load it by manually, again, like I said, try manual loading. You may need to put the straps down. Um, and I think that's what the modders, where the modders gone with this. If you load it in manually, the straps will probably pop over whatever you've loaded in manually. But when you're using the auto loader, it locks it in place. The same thing applies. You just um, put it into work position and then you've got the unloading triggers so you select your unloading trigger and then you press Y to unload and then there you go and then you can close your um, your tail up there and now you can change, you can use your um, in-game placement to change the characteristics. Um, but I'll use this box, toolbox over here. Just throw that near it. Not a good way to treat your toolbox, I know. Um, and then I should be able to configure. Yeah. Oh no. Okay. Let's get rid of the. Let's try it at the back end of the truck. It might be because it's an older. There we go. Customize. So you can change the wheel setup from here. Um, change your safety floor from here. Change your trailer type from here. And once you've ready, customize. Are you ready? Are you sure? Yes. And there you go. You see, you can try the 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 toilet. Try the da da da. Try and get my mouth into gear. The uh, the uh, wheels change, um, and the goes from curtain cider to this design here, which is like a rigid, solid body. It might detach from your truck as it has done with me. Once you've done that, again, you can. It's, this works as just like a standard tipper, so you can uncover it here if you need to. If it's not got the uh, curtain sided to the back of it, it, 
it won't work. But this one, oops, crashed into all my goods. This one's got the refrigerated aspect of it. And if I remember rightly, you press key 7 to turn the refrigerator on. I don't think it does anything inside, no. It doesn't do anything inside. But if you, you, you know, it's a funky little thing. I don't think it makes any difference to the goods, whether it's refrigerated or not. And if memory serves me right, what it normally does, I believe if you go up to your tip point, it should recognise it as a tip point. Yep, it does. Unrealistic, I know, but again, just for demonstration purposes. If I open the back, and just peer in there, you'll see it appear as bag formats. There you go. And you've got, like, little bags there. And you can, again, use the in-game unload wherever you like. Um, there's nothing stopping you. Um, I'm just going to unload it back in the uh, in the uh, silos here. Doors automatically close, which is good. It's cool. They're probably automatically open as well. Um, all right. Let's go back over to the toolbox. Detach the trailer. Hopefully that will stop it from getting confused. Get your toolbox or park it close to your customization point customize um, again you let's check out the next set of tires and the next type of trailer customize are you sure yes okay and again it's another type of tire which again is another option um doors have automatically opened again. And it gives you the pipe, it looks like pipes, rolling pipe type on the back. Ah, this is the one that's got the little trailer on it. This is like the standard I'd use for silage and stuff. I remember this one. Right, you should be able to open roof on this one with option eight. There we go. You can use this for chaff or anything you like. Let's close the back doors. Again, to make it more realistic. You won't want to drive around with the load tipping out in real life, so let's not do it in the game. Again, you can load it up that way. won't fill it up just to save time just to demonstrate to you guys it works as this type as well whoops crash my lorry unload yep the uh, doors automatically open when you unload too But you can, if you don't want to do it that way, if you, you can activate, let's see if activating the push floor works as well. That was just using a standard in-game tip point. So I'll just, again, for demonstration purposes, put a little bit in. Let's see if it makes any difference on this first. If I try and tip a little bit just in here without using the tip auto tip feature, open the doors and if I remember rightly, I did see a activate push wall, which was 
key 9. So let's try key 9 on this. It might not work. Okay. Didn't work in that aspect. Let's try... That again, not on the tip point. And see if that makes any difference. You might have to uh, do the old left control alternate here for this to work. Okay. Let's try that. Obviously, that's how the mod was uh, left control and I. And then keypad 9. Hmm. Sorry guys, let's try that again. Left control I. Okay. You can do that. I think the I don't think there's a collision on the uh wall here, unfortunately yet. But you never know. He may come in and change that so that that works as a collision um, again I'm sure the modder is going to probably chew me up and say well no that works Kev um, you don't know what you're talking about please learn my mod well let's go back over the toolbox and see if there's any more options detach Oh, well, let me detach. Maybe because it's not closed up or... Maybe we've got to close the roof. Try that now. Okay, won't let me detach off that for some bizarre reason. Oh, maybe it's because the um, unloading option's still on. That's my bad. Right, try that now. Let's try unload. There we go. Yeah, it's that's my fault. The uh, unloading option was still highlighted. Um, so, ooh, jump over. As you can see, the wheels do pivot as well, which is quite cool. So, customize it a bit more. And uh, let's see if there's any more options. Uh, wood floor. Now that's it. That is all the options available. Let's see if there's another type of wheel. No, that's it. You can change your colours from in here though. Again, the world's your oyster and what um, you want to go with with customization. There we go. It changes everything out, and you can color coordinate it as you wish. But that concludes the uh, Smith trailer mod review. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and again, guys, like I said before, the link will be in description down below if you want to have a play with this for yourself. And uh, if you did enjoy the uh, mod showcase, please, guys, don't forget to like. It helps me out a lot. And uh, if you know anyone else that may find this mod showcase useful or may enjoy this mod yourself again guys feel free to share helps me out a lot as well and uh, if you're new to my channel and see future mod showcases or anything else that I'm working on please don't forget to subscribe I'll see you in the next one TTFN